Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to do today. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. Hold on. Paper bags and uh, recycled material. That's what I want to play with today and just see what comes from there. Maybe make another cover or some pages for a journal. So I'm going to start, I need to get these into manageable sizes. So I'm going to tear some of these down to manageable sizes. I'll be right back because that's a little bit loud and you don't want to have to hear that. Okay, I started out, I stamped some and I stenciled some. So yeah, with some permanent ink, I used the Versafine. I started out using the Archival, but it needs to be re-inked and... Also, the bigger brush is your friend when you're stenciling, if, especially if you have shoulder issues. It just was easier and faster. So I just pulled out some of my stencils. Some were literally my stencils that I created. Uh, these ones are um, actually artist trading cards. Just, I cut them myself, and I haven't cleaned them up and cut them up yet. I just kept them on a whole sheet because I won't lose them as easily that way. So that's what these are. I don't want to be coming out in the store December, November, one of those months. Anyway, the store being pmartiststudio.com. Um, and then also some Amazon, some that I got off Amazon. And then I think this one is Stencil Girl, or I, it's Carolyn Doobie is the word stencil. Because um, I really, one thing I liked when I did this for Mariah's journal is I liked the words in the background. And I'm also going to use the Your Creative Studio paper and do some of that. And I've got a couple of sheets of just 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 this big ledger paper to mess around with left left one plain and then this packing paper which is like the white stuff that they wrap your stuff in and i left some plain we'll add more stenciling and stamping and whatnot later but first we're going to start with or i'm going to start with gesso so i have my messed up gesso here it's messed up it got dried some and i added some of the looser uh, gesso to it and now it's just it's thickening up again it's just weird I don't know um, originally it was the crafters workshop now it's a mix of the crafters workshop and um, Liquitex I think my hands are already inky they're already a little blue because we're we are uh, channeling Coraline here today <laughs> see see my hair it's kind of like the hi <laughs> Kind of like the color of a uh, Coraline. I don't know if I want to get all that black gesso in my white gesso. Let's find a cleaner. There we go. Cheesecake Factory. You can try to get the number out there, but there's nothing on that card. So the, I like when people give us gift cards because then after we use them, I have them as art cards. So I'm just, just throwing on some gesso. Hither, yither, and yon. Oh, and I will pull out my black gesso because that was fun last time that is i think this is it so i will do some with black gesso as well because that gave me some cool looks last time i, I really like using it and you can use any paint you don't have to use gesso just grab a gift card and grab some paint and grab some recycled paper or regular paper or any paper you want and just start you know just went on there and then I'm even just gonna stick it under the other ones and because what happens underneath is kind of cool too you know when it touches the other papers it's just this is just layer number one of many painty inky who knows what we're gonna do to it layers it just adds interest and it's just kind of fun so figured you know this is easy to do I thought maybe I could chat a little bit hopefully it's not too loud in the mic um I hope everybody is well I think dad might be getting ready to go out for his walk he's been doing good with that possibly because you know he doesn't want me to show him up I've been doing pretty decent I'm trying to walk five days a week and honestly, the day I don't walk is the day I go grocery shopping, so steps still get in, even if I don't officially exercise. So I've been getting in my minimum steps for the last, well, maybe not every, since October 11th. That's about when it pretty much started. So, so 
So I've been doing pretty good with that. And uh, somebody posted recently that the songs you sing out loud come true. So I'm trying to sing out good songs. Like I was belting out Unstoppable this morning. Not like I don't usually belt out songs anyway, just randomly. But, you know, listening to songs while I um, walk is nice. And I think I did in the shower, too. Usually I listen to podcasts when I'm in the shower. Usually Dana is who I listen to. Dana K. White, A Slob Comes Clean, her podcast. All right, I think I'll do a little black on the back of this one. Where's that? The one that had the black gesso on it. But black and white gesso are not like peanut butter and chocolate. You do not want to get them mixed in your containers because then you'll just end up with gray. I don't want gray. I want nice, I want drama. See, black gesso gives you a little drama. You don't have to let black gesso, just use black paint. It's still going to give you texture. And also, I was going to wrinkle up more of these papers and I forgot. But you see, kind of cool stuff you get when you do. Just stick that in the bottom. Has a little bit of white on it, but that's okay. We're going to. This one actually has no wrinkles whatsoever. And that's okay. If you don't want the uh, squared offness of the card, you could always use like some wax paper or paper towel or something. You could just use whatever you want to apply your um, gesso paint or whatever. Um, let's see. I've got tissue paper here. Let's, I probably want something a little, a little heavier. Oh, we could totally um, do bubble wrap. That is something you could do. And that adds some, some texture to what you're doing. Just add some to the bottom there. There we go. Got some black on there. And I kind of want a black... I kind of want to add black bubble wrap just to everything. All right, so I think I do want to kind of crumple this up a little bit. And, I mean, I don't know how many of these lines are actually going to show by the time we're done. But I thought, oh my goodness, that's a lot of gesso got on that one, didn't it? making it dark because why not because if you make a page dark you know what you do you just write on it with a white gel pen or any of you know you just whatever papers you might add to it will just be interesting as well does it have to be clear bubble wrap no it could just be grunt we're grunging it up i mean if that's not grunging it up i don't know what is also you know what i like to use where is it yeah, it's not easily found right now. That's alright. Maybe this will work. A little bit of gesso on this. We'll just do a small spot in case it doesn't work like we're thinking. There you go. No, that worked actually pretty good. Oh, definitely grungy. And sliding it kind of, like sliding my hand on it is making it do a weird kind of a thing too, which is cool. So... I mean, you add some blue sprays to that and whatnot, and then I could add white stamping or uh, texture paste or whatever. Who knows? All right, I probably should start laying these out to dry because they are starting to stick under. <laughs> oh, did we? Oh, we did do both sides. Okay, let's see. All right, so we got. We don't want them to stick and rip. Stick and rip and stick and rip. Do a little bit of this. There we go. Just a little bit of black on there. Loving it. Loving it. I'm loving it. Let's see. I actually kind of like that just how it is. Where's the white? White gesso. Because we did black on the other one. So we want to do. And the other one was crinkled. And I guess this one will leave straight. Maybe. 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 Oh no, we're getting some on the ones underneath. We don't care. 
this is just a first layer. So much more stuff is going to happen. And you do this kind of thing and you will have unique pages, covers, and whatnot for your journals. that nobody, you, could, you couldn't even replicate them if you wanted to. That's how unique they'll be. So if you are into uniqueness, mixed media is the thing for you. That's going to take a while to dry, but let's go ahead and I'm going to just kind of get some of the excess off on these other pages. Just so it won't take forever to dry, basically. See, look at that. Already looking cool. And I did mention doing something like um, some uh, plastic or something, right? Or, um, or even just paper. But, uh, let's just grab this piece of paper and crumple it up. And get some gesso in our face. Well, now I got some white in my hair. Bringing back the white. And then, you know, just getting some on there. We don't mind if the pictures show through. We don't care if the pictures don't show through. I mean, this is most likely going to be collage paper because it's already starting to rip. So we don't need to do both sides. We'll just do the one. Let's see, you can probably see it a little bit better if I. Uh, let's see. Do I have some plastic in here besides the pound, pound, pound? I got to remember that the oh, I've been blocking the microphone with stuff. Like right now, there's tissue. Let's try the tissue. Sorry, that's right in front of the microphone because. If I could dip it in it, it would probably be a little better, but. All right, turn that over so I can get on the other one better. So you're almost getting a rose effect, or you can even turn it. I kind of had a rose happening on there. There we go. Now we can. We do a little swoosh, swoosh. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Swoosh. I'm getting little circly things. I just got my thumb and my fingers like you know pinching it and then when I put it down I just swirl it and then we have really cool things happening all right oh gotta do something on this side all right that side that one can dry a little bit of black gesso on this side maybe some black on one side some white on the other side I like to keep this little recycle strip it just reminds me that I have used recycled paper. I mean, I already know I have, but also it's a nice striking strip of black. Some have a lot, some have a little. We're not worried. We're not bothered. All right. We already have black on here, so I'm going to probably use the white gesso. Or I could use another color. But what's nice about the gesso is a lot of this will show through. Like, even if I were to cover the whole thing, a lot of it would still show through. And this is Amazon packaging, so it's a little bit thinner. It's, you know, not super smooth. It's been sitting in a box, you know. Let's spread that out so that it gets on the next page, too. And it smooshed the card down. See what happens. You just got to try things. Um, a grocery bag works good. I don't have a lot of grocery bags. My husband takes them to use at the uh, food pantry. So, and of course, you know, if this part's boring, it's repetitive, just fast forward. It's all right. I mean, I could pause and uh, take this part out, but then some people might wonder, well, how come that one looks so much different than that one? And sometimes, you know, I come up with ideas while I'm doing it and, you know, like ch change it. Oh, another thing you could do, um, you could use your brayer or you could use just a brush you can get the brush and the paint there we go and then you can just brush it on there I'm not getting a lot on the brush when you do it's mostly getting on the end but that's okay you can go just one way you could go two ways 
which is kind of a cool look too. So I don't have a lot on there, which is why it's doing that. If you get too much on there, whoops, like that, you're just going to get that. So if you don't want that, just don't get too much on there. It's fine. So that's a brush. Um, what else was I saying? Oh, a brayer. You can use a brayer. Uh, this is the brayer I've got on hand right this second. So let's just, because the brayer is not going to fit in there. We'll just stick our finger in there. You can use your hands. Stick your finger in it. And of course, you know, it's only going to do that one bit because that's where the there was only paint on that one bit. But if I were to cover the whole brayer, it would give a whole different... Or if I were to, um, you know, if I had a... There we go. That might... Or you can put the paint on there and then brayer it as well. Get different looks no matter what you do. Just, you know, just do stuff. Try stuff. Have fun with stuff. Now, is this ruined beyond? No, I could open this up. At least use parts that aren't falling apart. Obviously, the parts falling apart of this tissue are not super helpful. But the other parts, you know, I could do some stamping on it or whatever. Really, if I were to gel plate on it, it would just strengthen it some because the paint would strengthen it a little bit. I'm not going to worry about this little piece. Although now I have a littler piece, it might be easier to use. Oh, that's a lot. Just dab it off on that paper. Sometimes you might get a butterfly or a flower or whatever, depending on, you know, what shape your paper happens to be doing. Do just like that. You could push. Just wipe it. Kind of like you did with the brush. Say you don't have a brush. No worries. Just do whatever. It's just one layer. All right. I'm, I still got several in here. So I'm going to pause while I finish this pile. I think I want to use this roll off as color inspiration. We have some orange, rusty orange, and maroon, and some uh, tealy blue, um, and black, of course. But um, so that's kind of the direction. Plus, you know, I always like to put navy blue and everything because I like navy blue. So now I just need to decide what direction I want to go. Now, if you don't have a gel plate, you can just use paint and a brush and whatnot. It does, you know, there's, there's no big deal about it. I'm going to use a gel plate because I have it and I can use it. And yes, it's very dirty. And that just means it's going to give me some good grunge. And my favorite, oh, I know which colors I want to use over here. I think I've got, oh, green sap. Oh, let's pull the dragonfly just in case we decide we want to do that for some fun. Turquoise, Prussian blue, yellow ochre. Oh, I, oh, I want the heavier ones of the. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to grab these. Quinacridone, uh, Azo Gold, and the Permanent Maroon. And then that is the Violet, good. And, oh, definitely want that. Quinacridone is Nickel Azo Gold again. Yep, we want that, we want that, we want that. All right, you want purple? Sure, I'm just grabbing all my fluid, golden fluids. You don't have to use fluid acrylics. You can use craft. You can use whatever you have color-wise, paint-wise. But, you know, if I have them, why wouldn't I use them? So we're going to do a little bit of what... Uh, Carrie the Crafter calls Kissing the Plate. I think I want to start with Permanent Maroon because all that stuff that's on there is like some greens and purples and whatnot. And I think the Permanent Maroon will adjust to that nicely. I, You know how I had that brayer earlier? Well, I put it somewhere. Oh, out of my way. Not far. Just 
All right, so I'm just going to do a layer of this. Oh, I kind of want to pick that up and see what we get. All right. Oops, that one's fairly plain, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to also brayer on that side some. So that is cool. Let's go ahead and get that edge. And then over here, we'll do some kissing of the plate. Just getting, I don't really want fingerprints per se. Especially if it's a bloody color. And then I'll go, see that looks like a hand, which, you know, might not be a bad thing. Um, I could do that color again, or I'm just going to go um, the next down the line, which would be Conacridone. Nickel Azo Gold would be sort of, because if I use like green or something, it'll totally brown it out. We don't necessarily want that. Where this will just kind of pick up both colors and is our October color challenge, burgundy and orange. So that's kind of fun. Let's just pick that up on that side because that's really cool. I mean, would we have wanted to miss? Would we have wanted to have missed out on that? I don't think so. And we're getting some stuff on that side too. It's drying fairly quickly, which is fine. Let's do the transparent yellow oxide. Oh, baby, drink it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Hopefully it's, oh, it is on my plate. I was going to say, hopefully it's not on my plate. It was totally on my plate. I was going to kiss the plate, but I seem to be getting some really cool stuff happening. So I'm just gel plating apparently, but you can see the cool things that happen if you just use a brayer. Of course, this is the big brayer that, that gives. It takes and it gives, but you know, you like when it gives. See how cool that is? Then we've got the black in the background. It's just, oh. oh I'm in heaven with the, uh, let's try some, try, no, I want to go, let's go blue so that if it goes yellow a little, that's green. Oh, well, it could go green, but I was going to go blue because I have turquoise and I also have Prussian blue. I got to finish these little ones before I can open the big ones. I do have big ones. It is less per ounce if you can get the four ounce ones as opposed to the one ounce ones. Unless you can get the one ounce ones in like a, a set, then it helps. But like I said, you do not have to have these paints really and truly do not see oh, we lost a lot of the dark in the background because we used Prussian blue but that's all right we're not bothered let's pick up what's on the end here I mean sometimes what we have down will show and sometimes it won't and it's all right If I can get that stuff that's on the edge there. Nope, it's dry. All right, now we can go turquoise. I think. Maybe all right. We're almost out. Oops. Oh, and then I'll also, I've got some, some green and some brown. I've got all the colors. I mean, I basically have the colors I like. You know what I mean? I mean, if we could get some of what's on the edge there, that'd be cool. But... I'm not too worried. All right, all those words, we'll see what we can keep of them. Would have cut more if I had done it on this side, but that's all right. We still have, I, they still show through pretty well. I'm going to keep that green on the end. I kind of like that. Looking green. We did bring over the, see, that's fine. The, um, Green gold. Oh, man, I'm going to have to order more green gold. In case you're wondering if people ever do actually run out of these, um, I think Patricia and I do. Let's just see if we can fix 
some of it up. I don't necessarily want a whole page of it. That's kind of cool. Put some up on this too. kind of not exactly the color we're going for. Did I not put gesso on this side? I thought I did, but I guess I thought I could have sworn I maybe I did. Alright, let's go uh <laughs> oh violet. Violet and green oh yeah that'll make make it a little I might do a little violet and a little bit of where is it? Van Dyke brown. I already have the green there which will brown it out. And just make it more of a burgundy. Yeah, I got songs in my head. So <laughs> happens when I walk. See, that's cool. And I can always come back in with more gesso if it's too dark. But I do like how it kind of, um, now it's not that bright green there anymore. It's a little bit better. All right, I don't want to do this to all of them. Some of them I want to ink. I do want to pick this up with something, though. With what? Purple? Because why not? Purple is dark. This one we have over here that might be on the lighter. Oh, let's just pick up the other side of this one. Which will give us more fun things to pick up in a minute. Because it's a wrinkled paper, so I definitely want to do something with that. Alright, we're going to go crazy. Are we? Yes, we are. We're going to do our sap green right on top of that because... And maybe some Prussian blue. Where is it? It's gonna be thick. She thick. She thick. She thick. That might not have been what I wanted. Let's see. It's gonna be the froggy green that Mariah hates. Let's just do it on the back of that since we're probably not gonna use the back of that. It got pretty dark. That's all right. All right, now the rest of this, I think I want to pick, add this Titan Green Pale on there, which is an opaque. So I didn't want to do it on one if I wanted to see through it too much. What I could do though is take, I've got some papers on the side here. I love that. <laughs> I just love the interesting effects of the brayer gives. We love a brayer off. Oh. Isn't that interesting? All the different variations of colors and whatnot. That will be so fun to play with. All right. Um, let's see. Have we used all the colors? Van Dyke Brown I have not used. I know it's dark. I'm going to use it with some well, um, blue. Some Prussian, Prussian blue, because why not? There's a little bit of Titan buff left on there too, which is fine. Uh, let's see what do we have over here. Where's the other ledger? brown showing on there. This is the one that we wrinkled. Oh, there you go. We do have some of the blue and the brown and the black is still showing through like in that, like in that. All right. Like I said, I wanted, oh, let's, oh no, we're not going to, let's do some inks. Ink it like it's hot. All right. Let me go grab the inks. I'll pause this time. All right, let's start with what we've got here. I've got some salvage patina, some honey, and some rusty hinge, speckled egg. 
nighttime, night after midnight. Uh, Uncharted Mariner, Chip Sapphire, and these are all the distress stains. Forest moss. Um, let's go with orange. We kind of started in the red orange. A little orange, and I think I, ha I might be out of water too. Yep, because I plan ahead, don't I? <laughs> Let me go do that real quick. And then I can grab the brush out of the bathroom that's drying. Now these inks are all water soluble. They're going to move every time. Ooh, oh, so oh, my brush is dripping on me. <laughs> it's wet and still got a little gesso in it, apparently. That's all right. Now we can just, let's see. Find something here that is asking to be a red orange. I went ahead and did the paper instead of the. I mean, I had the other water on there, so oh, that's fun too. Rare some ink on there. Just as good. That's going to take a minute to dry. <laughs> and it's all right. But you can see, you know, the big difference between on the paper and on the gesso. All right, Miriam, look, I'm pretty sure you see something in that. I mean, I see something, so you definitely see something. I love when Miriam sees something and then she'll do a snapshot, you know, a screenshot of it, and then she'll draw it and show us in Makers, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists over on Facebook. Um, that's where you'll find a lot of us share stuff. Let me see if I can pick up any of this on this. Some of it, maybe. There we go, getting good and grungy. Loving it. I just love some good grunge. All right. Um, that was like the orange and uh, if we move too fast to, let's go, this is kind of a purpley. So do some of that with the unchatted mirror, unchatted, the unchatted mariner. I got the guy that does the the signs in my head. The Boston guy. He does the signs. He reads the signs that are uh, are are misspelled. Did that take away all of the? No, you can still see it a little bit. Maybe I'll do a different color because this is gonna be collage paper, right? You just set that over to the side there and um we have the orange on that side why not a little variation on the other side just some purple if we do it i see i like that the way it is i don't mind that some of the purple is coming through but i don't want to accidentally set it on there also another way i could do this is i could just let's get some of that up See, when I don't wet the paper, you can see it doesn't pick up quite as much. Let's add some more uncharted, uncharted marina and some more water. Oh, did you guys know I'm from Massachusetts? I'm not making fun of people from Massachusetts. I'm, I, I'm actually from. I was born and raised. I've lived in Virginia longer than I lived in Massachusetts now, but I still... Massachusetts girl through and through. So, there's that. Alright, now I kind of want to just come in and do some sprays over here because we've got this tea, the turquoise and the orange over there. So I kind of want to just kind of do some, oh, that's more of a bronze. Oh, I do have some bronze here too. And, um, what did I say? Like, it's not quite this turquoise, though. Well, it's not bad, but we'll just move that over there. It's more of the, maybe a little bit more of the salvaged patina, kind of a... Yep, definitely. we we'll just... Guess what's almost gone? I, oh, I might have a re-anchor for that, though. Alright, then we're gonna spray that. And then we're gonna come through. And we're gonna spray this. Believe me, paper bags, when it's sprayed, it, it doesn't smell that great. 
when you're drying them with an air heat dryer, oh, it's even worse. Because, yeah, it's paper bags. They're, they're not meant for, they're not supposed to get wet. Then they break if they get wet, you know? I think that's going to be cool when it dries. It, it'll be subtle, and that's all right. Because there wasn't any white gesso on that side. But there is on this side. So we could even... A little orange. A little bit of forest moss. Well, forest moss is like this dark, olivey, kind of green, cool thing. And, um, you know, if a little bit of it gets on there, we're okay. Alright, that needs to dry somewhere. Inks are really kind of one of my favorite mediums. Um, so I did bring in this copper, this brass, Art Extravagance. It came with a patina set. The other pieces were pretty dried out. I think this one's still okay. So I do want to use some of that here and there. And then I also have stains by Patty Pocket, which I thought I might use here or there. All right, let's... I haven't been brown yet, have I? All right, let's do some... Got a long piece here. I don't know what I'm planning to do with this. Make like a a long kind of a journal, maybe. This one has more of a green to it. This is Dilutions Ground Coffee. Where the um that's Dilutions Ground Coffee too. Um Vintage Photo I think has a little bit of green to it too. No, that has more orange to it. So if you add those together, it might be a little bit less. Just spraying the other end. Just gonna kind of fold them together. And then just let that do its thing. I'm gonna set it over here because the more I spray it, the more, well, I'll spray it a little bit. But, you know, I'll lose some of the brown as it goes. But and then maybe I'll add some other colors too. But for now, I'm gonna let that dry off to the side. Um, what about that one? Should we just spray it like we just did, or should we, I guess that's what we're doing. Um, oh, we got a little bright olive green with chip sapphire, maybe? The chip sapphire has a little bit of purple to it, too. Uh, oh, I need the faded denim. That will have more actual... Uh, blue blue to it I think but also we have speckled egg which is really super light like you can't even look at that it's I have to spray a lot just to get it to do much um oh salvaged patina we like that too if we could get it just that is like so wet right now but that's all right I'm gonna just take another one of these we do like see this is orange on this end we could take this end and kind of get it in the more blue, tealy side of things. Where's our salvage patina? Go over a little bit. Oh, and then, oh, I was, yeah, I kind of want to do some more dyed papers, which I could do a couple of. Um, this sort of paper thrown into it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a reminder to pay my Verizon bill if you're wondering. Because it's due on the 25th. Everything else isn't due to the 1st, but that one is always due on the earliest. Super annoying. So, yeah. All right. And I'm not doing all of them inked, and I'm not doing all of them painted. They're all going to be different. They may go in the same book. They may go in a different book. I don't know. Time will tell. Now I can't put my hand down on this. Problem. <laughs> all wet. All right. Let's go ahead and clean up this last bit. It'll be a fun, a fun pickup, won't it? It's really wet though. But that's all right. We're just going to pick it all up with 
this maybe. Oh, I did have the turquoise. Ooh, see, it's really wet. It's gonna. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be me. There we go. Just oh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I just I want it to dry like that. Can we do that on another one? Probably not. All right, we have. Probably couldn't if we tried, but let's see what we get on the, uh, oh my goodness, stuff in my way. All right, that is awesome. I love that, okay. Um, can we pick a little bit more up with that dark bit? Oh yeah, look at that, see? Sometimes things happen not on purpose, and those are just things that you're just like, oh, couldn't do it again if I tried. Added a little lightness to that. There's something on this side, but I don't know what. So you have red and purple on that side. I mean, not that it'll stay one piece. Um... But all the paint makes it just a little bit stronger. All right, well, what if we mix a little bit of, this is an opaque, this is the teal, but it's not dark enough for me. <laughs> for right now, let's add some vent. That's, it may end up being really ugly. Oh, you know what I should have mixed it with? The uh, metallic black paint would have been good. Oh, see, that's got kind of a patina look to it. I like that. I don't mind a little bit of a patina. See, that's much more interesting now. Um, let's go this way, maybe. We got kind of, well, I don't mind that. Yep, we covered a lot of what I stenciled on there, but that's okay. Because we're using some opaque stuff happening here. It's not that big of a deal. All that is green. Oh, but that's cool. I don't, I don't know how I get that. I just, it's wet paint. It's just watery, watery, wettery kind of a thing happening. And then we just throw some violet on there for, for just some fun. Cause don't know why. Just to see what happens, really. We like violet, violet works nicely. Now, what if we add some violet on this side, which will also add some to this side when we use the brayer. Yep, we like that. And then we could probably add some orange on that. We haven't done orange for a minute. Um, methadone. Actually, all I have to do is use the transparent yellow oxide and it will orange out the, the violet probably quite a bit. All right, let's take this one. Interesting. That's interesting. It kind of gives a, a sort of a honey, but it still has a little bit of the violet coming through too. And it's transparent, so we have the black coming through. All right, now let's throw it on the quinacridone azo bold because this other one needs some orange. For sure and for certain. This one needs some orange because this one actually has like the colors that were from our inspiration in the first place. Well, might be nice if one of our pieces has, has the colors. Do we like it? Is it cool? Is it interesting? I don't know. We're not done yet. I mean, really, we're not. Let's just go ahead and pick this up with a piece of paper. 
all this stuff on the hair does make it a little sticky but you know what once I if I clean it use the oil on it it'll be fine it always ends up being fine this one's wrinkled that's all right it's also I think it's closer to a uh, 9 by 12 sheet of paper than a uh, I don't hate what's going on there with the uh, I mean, I could have let it sit, but this paper is not super strong. It's not really thick paper. But I did pick up quite a lot. And see, this is why you use all the colors, because then when you pick up your final pull, you have little aspects of those colors in there. And it's really, really cool. I mean, maybe you don't think it's cool, but, but I definitely think it's cool. All right, let me get all these dry, and then we'll do the next layer. Or should we come back tomorrow because this is starting to be a really long video. I don't know. How long are we? Or we can do a little bit more. Now I'm to the point where I probably want to start paying attention to an individual piece at a time. And just make that, you know, you do first few layers. And then you just might want to then start to, um, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of at that point right now, I think, where I just kind of want to start to... Let's hope there's... Yep. All right, I'm going to take that some a lot of that off. And I'm just going to do... Whoops. Sure, I'm going to attempt to do copper here. We did have some copper on that other page. I'm not looking for perfection when I do this, because I want it to look aged and old and, you know... Not perfect. I do, however, not, I kind of would like it to not go under the stencil. This is actually a little piece from a six by six inch stencil. I can't get in the middle though very easily. And I cut it up basically so it would fit, but the way, see, it's not working real great. This, this stuff is being really sucky right now. The patina effect paste, paste, it's not, it's not doing super great. Let me see if I can find if maybe like one of these dappers would work a little bit. Well, that one's got paint on it though, so it's gonna, but maybe a firmer bit is better. I don't know. Whoops. Um, let's see. I have used paint with this before. Sometimes. Let's see. It's hard to find the right tool, the best tool for what you're doing. Because, you know, I don't want to have to, like, take all day doing this. And I would like for this little thing to show a little bit, you know? Some of that paste out but it is a paste so you know it wants to not go on easy and smooth that's that's the problem we're having here I don't know that stirring it would help but so far the brush seems to be the easiest my son needs to either get a correction, or if he's already had a correction, he needs to turn off his alarm. Thank you very much. <sighs> but I can't be his blood sugar monitor. He's got to do that for himself. He just takes so long to do something about it. Forgetting that, you know, I might be recording down here. Not bitter at all. In about five minutes, you'll hear that noise again. It's going to be every five minutes until he turns it off. In case you're wondering, I hope I'm not out of screen here. Not that it matters. I'm just doing the same thing all over here. Just kind of making a pattern. Not a perfect pattern. Just a bit of a pattern because I do like patterns. Now, I really should wash this because I used the paste. Let's see. Do I have a wipe? A baby wipe? Of course I don't. Why would I have a baby wipe? All right. I do have paper towel. So, until I 
decide to go to, into the bathroom to take care of that, we will keep it wet. We will get the paper towel wet. I mean, this would be a fun piece to use. I just don't want to have to buy the whole thing again. So I probably could make something similar, just not exact. I do like the shape. I don't necessarily need the agedness of it. All right, um, this is really dark right now, but like, let's see, will this be a page in a journal? And if so, um, like maybe this would be a pocket on this side or vice versa. And then it could fold. And that helps that helps give me an idea of what I want to do. And I mean we don't mind that that does that. It's kind of interesting. And I could come in. Ooh, I do have my I love this. Okay, let's Ooh, and now that I have my Versafine might actually show up. Alright, sometimes I have a hard time doing things like trying like, you know, I just figure I'll do that real quick. It's not perfect. And it's okay. Let's see, can I get line it up there a little bit? Oh, that doesn't see I wish that they would make it so that it would be, um, you know, see, this is the very top, so why can't that be the very bottom? I almost want to cut it off so that it is. Almost wanna. I definitely wanna. Probably use an exacto knife to make it more straight, but so that ends there. So I want this one to end here. You can cut your stamps, you know. I mean, maybe you should do it more precise than me, but. I want the bottom to meet up and then the side that comes actually if I just do them in the middle I don't know why they just don't make stamps like this to begin with see now it can be a repeating pattern why can't they just do this in the first place it's not a super expensive stamp I'm not too worried about it but now it's a repeating pattern and it bugged me less See, that lines up better now. That's so much better now because it'll line up. I don't necessarily need it to line up perfectly. I'm actually just lightly dabbing that because lining up that middle one, lining up the middle one. There we go. Now we've got some wallpaper happen in here. Kind of, sort of. So there you go. Who knew? And now, they could have done that for me, but they didn't, so I had to do it myself. I'm going to let that dry, and then I might come back in with some gesso or something. Um, or I may just leave it as it is. I don't know. This could come over like this and be a pocket. So we could do something totally different here. Um, we've got some of the ouch, the brass and the, the patina e green and black. And let's see. Let's just clean off this brush a little bit. This, uh, what is it? It's not a brush. Just get some of that off of there. Waste not want not, right? Now, oh, you know what I used before? I'm going to try the dragonfly this time. Last time I used like the iridescent. So let's use the dragonfly, please. Where's my little. I don't need it that little, though. Let's just grab the. And I'm going to do a glaze on that and. See what happens. Is this one? Yeah, I've used them both. Yeah, it's there. 
guys know I had it. You were here when I used it. Um, now this is the dragonfly glaze. What I used last time was the color change, the color shift. But, um, oh, that, that enhanced it, didn't it? I mean, it's shiny, but that's all right. We don't mind a little bit of shine. That's fun. Let's do that. Well, well we don't know if it's going to be a pocket or not, so let's go ahead and do both sides. Wow, you want your paper bag to look better, just better and more funner? Just add a little dragonfly glaze. It might smell weird, but, you know, it does some cool stuff. And this one is the blue-green gold shift. I think that's what it says. They're trying to make me read off of um, little bits. So, I'm going to let that dry. So, that piece is done for now. What about this? Oh, this one never really got anything on it. Well, that's going to have to wait. That one's... Let's see. Oh, here we go. This one has some fun stuff still has some of the stuff in the background showing um did not get much done on this side so let's go ahead and we have some violet on this side i'm gonna go ahead and do it's gonna be a little shiny because we've got the dragonfly under there but that's all right and it's just gonna be a little bit there and these are brighter on this side and then we'll get maybe a little bit of orange on this side too which is fine and a little glitter there we go hey we got glittery orange now it's just been that that's gonna give for a while I have a feeling <laughs> I have a feeling that's gonna give for a minute but we've got enough color on this page Oh my goodness, this one's way wet. Needs to dry. Okay. Um, it's a little bit sticky. Could use a little bit dry, but let's see. So, if this were a page in a book, how... I might want to have it fold like that. And then, that way... Oops, that's not what I want to do. Let's see. Oh, yeah. If this is the, the book... And I want a flat dish bottom. And I might. I mean, I do have a flat dish bottom, to be honest. If you must know. <laughs> Pretty sure you didn't want to know. I'm thinking of sewing on some of these, too. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. I have not yet decided what I want to do. All right. I just want it to be interesting and um, I'm gonna channel a little bit of Patricia right now and even though there's not any kind of although there could be where's my markers or pen something Faber Castell medium no, I think it's wet so I need to use something less dangerous dangerous it's dangerous Here's my black pens. The pens that the Stadler Lumicolor is the should be the safest pen to use on something that's not quite dry. If I just want to I'm gonna cut the edges. So I wanted to have a line, and then I may even outline that with a thicker black pen in a little bit. So I don't know what I'm gonna. They may go in different journals. They may all go in the same journal. I haven't decided yet. I just want to make a journal, and I want to make some journal pages, and I want them to be interesting. I don't know. This is super sticky, by the way, because of the, well, because it's not dry, for one. I 
All right, we don't mind that that's ripped like that. It's kind of cool. And now I do want some darker. Where's my that? That's the white one. Where's the black one? Where's all my big fat pins? This one might work. This is, see, it says dry safe. I don't know what that means, but this is a bigger, a bigger one. With that nice bold outline. I don't know what animal that is. Kind of goes, eh, 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 eh. I don't know. You probably can't hear it. Sounds like it's coming from the woodsy area. I know we have a lot of foxes in the area. Fox and lady. A couple of families at least, I think. All right, I just want to follow that. Just make it all dark and grungy. And let's see. What do I want to do with this piece? It's got... Hmm. Kind of a weird, I didn't get anything on it, but I kind of don't want to, I think it did this before. I don't think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to, like I said, I kind of want to sew this. I should have given myself a little bit more space over here though, because now there's like no place to sew it the way I did it. So yeah, if you are impatient like me and you want some pens that aren't going to stop writing just because you did something stupid like write on damp, wet, sticky stuff, uh, Staedtler, S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R, Lumicolor Permanent Markers. They don't smell great, but you know, they take care of things. And I'm going to come on the edge here. And I like to do papers like this that are not going to have, there's not going to be anything else like it. Now, I kind of want to layer something else in there before I even sew it. Um, where's, where's my favorite I've got some of Tracy Fox's papers that I was going to use in with these, I think. Her, um, dark, that's not it. All right, I had it right here. Let me find it. Dark Compendium is what it's called. And we are at over an hour, so I really do need to, to stop. That's too red. I kind of like this blue flower. But also was kind of thinking about, you know, that thing there. But I think I like the blue flower and maybe a little music behind it. So let's do this real quick, and then we will end for the day. And this is going to be what I'm going to be working on for a while. Just kind of doing these pages. I should... Oh, I am going to back it with some music paper. Maybe that will be enough. But I'm doing it so that the music paper will show. So, all right. All right, so I kind of want... Ooh, kind of like... Let's just do this. And this, and this, and that. And get our music paper here. Which can just come down like this. This will have the, the more organic shape. That part's not going to show as much. Oh, it's not as big as I wanted it. Oh, shoot. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I want it bigger. I want it more like... Hold on. Let's get a straight-ish bottom. All right. going to glue these 
And then I'm gonna probably back it because I wanna make this a pocket. So I'm, I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker and then I'm gonna sew this and uh, you'll see it in the next video. Uh, go through these, uh, they're not all dry. Some of them are still pretty wet. So we got some really interesting things happening with the papers we did today and I will be working with these papers um, along with probably some of Tracy Fox's uh, dark compendium, maybe other compendiums, um, and then whatever digitals I have on hand, some of my own digitals probably, just a mix. I never stick to just one thing. I'm very eclectic. See, these are still really wet. I haven't, I didn't dry these because I was going to just, you know, go on to, look at that pink that happened there. Hmm, interesting. Um, oh, because of the purple was under it probably. So yeah, this, so, you know, if you want to come back and see what happens with all these pages, then make sure you come back and I hope you all have a delightful day. Okay, some of these are some of my favorites. Oh, where's the other one? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Okay, that one hasn't been finished yet. Oh, there it is. That one. Ha, oh, I love it. And then that one's still wet. All right. Have a delightful day, guys. Love you.